Hello friends, welcome to our channel Electronics Monk. In this video, we are going to learn about LCD interfacing with Arduino Uno. So guys, in this video, we are not going to use Proteus. We are going to use a completely different platform for simulating our circuits. And... Uh, we are going to use this one, this circuits.io. Just open your browser and in that URL you have to write circuits.io. This platform is developed by Autodesk and believe me it is extremely cool, it's really awesome. You don't have to install any kind of a software, you just need a good internet connection and a browser, that's it. Okay, so here I have logged in into my account, you just have to create your account, you can use your Google Plus account also. and. Uh, then we have to create a new electronics lab you can create uh, circuits you can create your own pcb designs also my internet is a bit slow so let me just speed up this video a bit yeah uh, so this is the basic basic window and here we are getting this uh, breadboard in this circuit I am not going to use this breadboard so I am just selecting it and I am deleting it uh, so now you can see that there are a number of things there is a code editor there is a component tab firstly we have to search for the components that we are going to use uh, the first and the most important component is for short this Arduino so let me just type Arduino and this is Arduino Uno that we are going to use so this is the Arduino that we are going to use apart from this Arduino we also want uh, LCD let me just search for LCD this is what the LCD is and uh, apart from LCD uh, we also want a potentiometer so let us just write pot and we'll use a 10k potentiometer this is exactly what we are looking for and yeah here it is so that's it this is what we want uh, let me just rotate this one we can rotate objects by selecting them and then by clicking on this icon okay so yeah uh, this is what uh, the basic components that we required now uh, first of all let us just see what are the different pins of the LCD I am zooming this circuit and uh, yeah uh, so this is it this is our LCD uh, the first pin in this LCD uh, pardon me uh, there are 16 uh, pins in this 16 by 2 LCD the first pin in this LCD is ground pin so it will be connected to the ground second pin is a VCC pin we will give 5 volt input the third pin is a VO pin this pin is used to adjust the contrast and we will connect it to the wiper pin of that potentiometer so by adjusting that uh, potentiometer we can adjust uh, the contrast pin number four is uh, rs pin this rs pin is basically a register select pin it is used for sending commands or for sending characters to our lcd uh, now what are the examples of those uh, commands or what are the example of those characters suppose we want to set our cursor on a specific location that is a kind of a command Suppose we want to turn on our display or we want to turn off our display that is a kind of command. Meanwhile if we want to type some characters if we want to uh, display some data then we have to send some characters that is what sending a character okay. So if we are giving 0 volt or ground to this pin then we can send some commands and if we are providing 5 volt to this RS pin then we can send some data okay it's simple pin number five is rw pin this pin is what a read and write pin is all about now by 
uh, using this pin we can write some data or we can read the data of the LCD now you may suppose that okay what we can read you may ask that what we can read from an LCD we can read that whether uh, LCD is free or our LCD is executing the previous instruction we can uh, read that one that okay our LCD is busy or our LCD is executing the previous uh, previous instruction okay then the pin number six is a uh, enable pin we have to give uh, we have to connect this enable pin so that uh, we can put our instruction okay we just have to give a signal a pulse signal to this pin with the help of which we can give any kind of instruction to our LCD now the amazing thing is all these things can be easily done by using liquid crystal library in Arduino so we do not have to worry that okay what we have to do no uh, it is completely simple we don't have to uh, do some special instructions all the things will be handled by liquid crystal library itself now from pin number DB0 to pin number DB7 all these pins are 8-bit parallel data port pins for the LCD and uh, we can send ASCII codes like suppose if I want to print A if I want to print a character A in the LCD then I have to uh, I have to give an instruction of the ASCII code of the character A now the ASCII code for the character A is 0100001 so that is what a 8 bit character eight, uh, ASCII code for character A but uh, we are using our LCD in a 4-bit mode. We are not using our LCD in a 8-bit mode. So we are not giving that uh, ASCII code directly. While we are using, we are uh, we are giving two bytes. Okay, we are not giving them a 8 byte directly. We are giving them two bytes. And the last pin, the, the second last pin, this one is uh, anode. So we will connect this one as a backlight. It will be connected to the plus five volt, and this cathode pin will be connected to the cathode to the ground pin. Okay. So this is what the basic pinout for an LCD. And uh, now let us make circuit. Okay. Let me just speed up this video a bit let me change the color of this ground pin to the black And let me change the color of this VCC wire to red. Now here we are using pin number DB4 to DB7. Let me select a resistor so that uh, our LCD will be protected from the higher current. Let me change it to 330 ohm. Let me just rotate it. This is what the basic circuit is. Now we just have to write a basic code 
for printing hello world so we have to click here on this code editor you can see an example code is there uh, and with the help of this example code we can blink LED on pin number 13 so let us just firstly upload this one and try to see whether it is working or not I have clicked on this one and yeah it's successfully compiled and you can see this here uh, just take a minute yeah you can see that LED is blinking see here okay uh, so now we have seen that okay uh, it is working our LED on a pin number 13 is glowing so let us just write a pro write down a program through which we can send some characters or we can display some characters on our LCD so we'll go to the this code editor just select all delete all and uh, first of all we have to include library library is liquid crystal c r y s t a l liquid crystal dot h okay let us make an object of this liquid crystal and now here we have to define the pins which are connected to that uh, the Arduino pins which are connected to uh, the RS pin of LCD to the enable pin of the LCD to the DB4, DB5, DB6 and DB7 pin number of the LCD so here our RS pin is connected to pin number 12 our enable pin is connected to pin number 11 DB4 pin is connected to pin number 5 then 4 then 3 and then 2 and now void setup in this void setup let us just write lcd dot begin it's a 16 comma 2 then semicolon let us just write lcd dot clear so if there are some errors not errors if there are some garbage value so that will be clear if there are some previous instructions so that uh, if there are some previous instructions our LCD would clear that one okay now uh, let us go to that void loop in this void loop uh, let us first of all write LCD dot set cursor remember in this command C is in capital letters set cursor to 0 comma 0 and then LCD dot print ln ln stands for line so print line whatever you want to print it have to be into that into uh, inverted commas okay so I'll write hello YouTube and then LCD dot set cursor now set cursor to 0 comma 1 and now I want to write LCD dot print line please subscribe <laughs> so uh, let us just try to upload this one and see if this code is right or not no it is saying that uh, okay we have not write a semicolon here we have to do this one now again let us try to upload this one and let us see if it is yeah it's successfully compiled and here it is guys hello YouTube please subscribe so if you found this video useful please press the like button and uh, do subscribe our channel and uh, I hope to see you again thank you for watching